So what is the impact of banking and technology on our development? One of the strengths of our great nation is our numbers. Foreign investors flock into the country on a daily basis, looking to take advantage of the population size to grow their profits. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the population of Nigeria in 2022 was about 216.8 million, of which the youth population aged 29 and below constitutes roughly 68% of the population. Take that up a notch, we have a whopping 80% of the population, that's 174.4 million people, below the age of 40 years. I'll let that sink in for a moment. What is the significance of this? What are the implications for the Nigerian economy? There's a saying, I don't mind is the devil's workshop. What this implies is that if not properly engaged, a youth population of this magnitude could quite easily become vulnerable to social ills such as high dependency ratios and increased unemployment, thereby eroding the very potential that could be realized from this population. On the upside, if properly harnessed, it can contribute to what is referred to as a demographic dividend, potentially leading to increased productivity, innovation, and economic growth. Technology can empower a youthful population in several ways to boost economic development. For instance, it can provide access to education through online learning platforms, enhance skills development and future readiness in the wake of artificial intelligence and machine learning through digital training programs. It can create opportunities for entrepreneurship and innovation through digital platforms and marketplaces. It can also improve access to markets and financial services through digital banking and e-commerce platforms. Additionally, technology can facilitate efficient resource allocation, it can streamline our business processes, and even foster collaboration and networking among young people, thereby accelerating economic growth and development. The application of technology in finance can assist Nigeria in overcoming its developmental challenges. And it does so in several ways. One, enhancing financial inclusion, improving efficiency and transparency, encouraging savings and investment, stimulating entrepreneurship, for which Nigerians are well known, facilitating government services, combating fraud, and improving security. What am I trying to say? Overall, the application of technology in finance has the potential to catalyze economic development in Nigeria by promoting financial inclusion, efficiency, transparency, entrepreneurship, and good governance.